أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Constructor Liability Constructor Liability is the assessment of internal consistency of different constructs that we use in our study. Now for example if I want to know whether this particular construct in my study or this particular construct or any other construct in my study is reliable or not, I will have to conduct or assess its reliability. Now in order to assess the reliability there are different methods. One of the most common method that is available in SPSS is Cronbach's Alpha. Now one thing that one should make sure is that each of these constructs are assessed separately. Normally students what they do is or scholars what they do is they do or assess the reliability of all the items all together. This is wrong. You have to assess the reliability of each construct separately and then report it separately like this here. So I'm going to discuss how to report it in a while. Just first let's look at the output. So what we do is we go to analyze. We go to scale reliability analysis. Now we are interested in assessing the reliability of authentic leadership. Now there are five items for authentic leadership. So I will select these five items. Click this arrow button here. Now the items are in here. Next step, I'll go to statistics. And from here in the descriptors, I'll select item, scale, scale if item deleted. Now this is very important if you want to improve your reliability statistic. So what you do is just press continue. Make sure alpha is selected from this box. There are other methods as well, but for now we are just going to focus on alpha. Press OK and here are your results. So I had 352 valid cases. Now my alpha value is 0.818, which is very good because it's greater than 0 0.70. Now the item statistics, I'm not in need of these statistics right now, but what I'm interested in is this here. So 81 scale mean if item deleted. So what happens to the mean if the item is deleted? The variance. So look at this here item to total correlation. Now this is the correlation of this particular item with the scale, the overall scale. This should be greater than 0 0.30. So you are corrected item total correlation. That is the correlation of this item with the total correlation of the scale should be greater than 0 0.30. If this is less than 0 0.30, then your reliability will suffer. Next is very important, cron batch alpha if item deleted. Now what if I delete this item from the scale and redo my alpha analysis? My alpha value will come down to 0.779. With 81, it is 0.818. Now if I delete 81 and redo my scale analysis, it will be 0.779. So by deleting this item, my reliability is actually going down. Now this means I should not delete this item. Well, actually I shouldn't delete any of the items because by deleting any of these items, my reliability will go down. Now let's record this for a minute. 80 is 0 0.818, 0 0.818. I'm going to tell you how to format it just in a bit. Let's do the other one. Analyze, scale, reliability analysis we have to move these back because we cannot or we should not rather do all of them together so there are six items for be press ok look at this 0 0.920 very good well we do not need to remove anything 0 0.920 be one thing that is particularly important is that cron batch alpha is very sensitive to your number of items if you've got two or three items in a scale, your scale reliability might be low. So you have to have good number of items in a particular scale. Let's look at this one. Life satisfaction. Edit here. Just press OK. Now look at this 0 0.862, which is good. Can it be improved? Yes, it can be improved. Look at this LS5. If we delete LS5, it can be improved. But do we need to delete an item just to maybe add a few decimal points? It's already very good, so we do not need to delete it. You only delete it when you are significantly improving your cron batch alpha. Like you had cron batch alpha of 0.6, and now by deleting it, you are getting a cron batch alpha of 0.75 or 0.78, then only you should delete it. In this case, we do not need to delete it. So let's 0 0.862, 0 0.862, and that is for live satisfaction. 
So number of items, there were five, there were six, and then there were five. So how do you report these results? In order to report these results, we have got a template here. So reliability is the measure of internal consistency of the constructs in the study. A construct is reliable if the alpha value is greater than 0 0.70, according to here et al, 2013. Construct reliability was assessed in this study using cron batch alpha. The results revealed that authentic leadership scale with five items had an alpha value of 0.818. An ethical leadership with six items had an alpha value of 0 0.920. And finally, for life satisfaction, it was 0.863. So this is how you report your cron batch alpha statistics. Now, how do you format this table? Move the other two columns like centralize them, select the whole table and no borders. Let's give it a bottom border. Let's give it a top border. Now let's select this first row here and give it a bottom border. You have mentioned that the table one summarizes the results. So this is how you calculate, interpret and report cron batch alpha. Thank you very much.